Caleb, Thomas, and myself, we were hiking up this trail, and we hiked up to the top of this mountain. And while we were hiking up, I couldn't help but think to myself that, you know, we could have sat down at camp and Googled this view. We could have looked at it on our phones. We could have looked at it through a screen. But we would have never really experienced this. And I think that that's what God has called us to do, is to experience an abundant life. John 10.10 10 says that I have come that you may have life and life more abundantly. So what is an abundant life? What does that look like? See, Acts 1.8, Jesus tells us to go. Go and make disciples. Well, I think it's a great thing to pray for people to make disciples. It's a great thing to pray for missionaries, and we're supposed to do that. I think it's a great thing to, to give money to, for people to make disciples, to give money to missionaries, and we are supposed to do that. But I think too many times, that's where it stops. But Jesus tells us to go. And that's what an abundant life looks like, is to go and experience what it is like to share our faith. What it is like to live for Jesus and truly tell people about Him. You see, John Piper says this. He says that God has created this earth for us to enjoy, for us to experience. You see, look around. Look at all these mountains. God created this for us. You can't experience this through a screen. You can't experience this through a phone. It's just like sharing your faith. You really can't experience it when you're only reading about it, when you're only studying about it. Sometimes we have to get up and go. We have to get up and experience what it's like to live an abundant life, to, to share our faith, to live in God's will, and truly lean on only on Him and nothing else and trust Him. You see, that abundant life, that can only be found in Jesus.